Scientists have faith too. I'm John Stone Street, and this is The Point. Recent articles at NPR and Christianity Today note that some evangelicals are questioning whether Adam and Eve really existed. For example, Francis Collins, a scientist and a professing Christian, claim current genetic evidence show human beings are not descended from a common couple, but from a common set of about 10,000 founders. Thus, Adam and Eve is in history, but quote, a poetic and powerful allegory. Huge theological questions are created by this view, but we also need to rethink how quick we are to interpret scripture according to the conclusion of science. Remember Darwin's finches, Haeckel's embryos, Nebraska man and peppered moths? Over and over, scientists show themselves fallible by making claims that fit their bias and having to apologize later. Of course, Christians should learn from science, and we need to apologize for stubbornly insisting certain beliefs are biblical when they aren't, but never give up on biblical truth for scientific claims. Tomorrow, they might change again. For ThePointRadio.org, I'm John Stone Street.